hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Jackie O so today I'm doing this modern bridal tutorial it's basically just kind of like a twist on a traditional bridal look but with a little bit more color for those you know brides that want to look a little bit more modern and trend appropriate it's got lilacs and purples in the eyes and a soft pink lip and I'm also using my Dynair airbrush makeup again so um, you, if you guys want to see kind of how I'm able to achieve fuller coverage as opposed to the first first video I showed you guys keep on watching okay everybody start off this look with foundation I'm going to be using my Dynair airbrush makeup system for the foundation so let's get right to it and I'm doing this airbrush for this particular look because I wanted to show you guys just how much coverage you can achieve with the airbrush system. A lot of you guys saw my first tutorial and saw how light I wore it and really that was just kind of the intro. This video I'm going to be showing you just how much coverage you can get with this makeup. Especially I would imagine for a wedding you probably want to look like a really beautiful version of yourself. I'm also going to apply some of that in my on my neck, in my chest, and there's the foundation. Come closer so you can see my brows. Come closer, closer. Okay, tame those brows, brush them, and fill them in. I'm using my Sumita brow pencil. The color I'm using is dark brown. Now using a shadow primer for my eyes, I'm using the one from Smashbox. And I'm going to dab a bit of that onto my lids and blend that out. So you're gonna carefully place that primer all the way from inner to the outer corner of the eyes. I'm going to take Crystal Eyeshadow by MAC and apply that on my eyelid. Crystal is a really pretty lilac color and looks great on dark skin. I'm going to flip the other side of that Sigma E55 brush I was using and use Fig One Eyeshadow by MAC and apply this eyeshadow on the outer corners of my eyes. But I'm placing the eyeshadow in a slanted V shape. I see how I'm kind of angling that shadow down. I'm also going to do the same on the other eye. And I'm not blending out just yet. We're going to be blending shortly. Take a blending brush. I'm using the Sigma E35 and blend that color out. Next, I'm using a black eyeliner. This is the Smashbox Limitless Eyeliner, but you are more than welcome to use whatever you have. Again, in that same sidewards V motion that I did earlier, I'm going to carefully draw a somewhat thick black line on the outer corner of my lash line, and only on the outer corners. You can kind of see how I'm doing that. So it's just one V, and then same for this side. I then took Shadowy Lady Eyeshadow by MAC, and my Sigma E15 brush, which is basically just a flat liner brush. And directly on top of that black eyeliner, I am applying that eyeshadow. And I'm also kind of flicking and smudging that out for a smoky effect. I'm still adding more purple shadow on top of that and I'm smudging it out. I'm kind of pushing it upwards. You get a sexy smoky look without seeing a lot of that black that we added. I'm using Max Vex eyeshadow and a 252 brush by MAC and applying this color in my brow bone highlight. Only just a little bit though. The last step is to take a blending brush. I'm using the MAC 224 and blend out that crease color if you haven't already. So we soften that crease color out a little bit, soften those edges out. 
You can add lashes if you'd like, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to go right into mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Lash Stiletto. All right, now I'm back to the airbrush machine. This time I am using a bit of nutmeg and I'm going to be using that underneath my eyes as a highlight. So watch me as I conceal underneath my eyes, okay? Now we've got our under eye concealed. The same thing can also be done with your nose and your forehead. Check this out. I also learned this on the Dynair airbrush video. Take your two wee little fingers right in between your nose and spray right down the center. And you've got a contoured nose. I'm gonna add a little bit more, I think. And go ahead and take some of that into my forehead just in the center point and so far so good. All right, now that we've completed that under eye concealer, I'm going to resume with the rest of the eyes. I'm using a gold eyeliner in my waterline to brighten up those eyes. And then I'm going to use Fig One eyeshadow again and my flat liner brush and apply that shadow underneath my lash line. And add mascara to the bottom lashes. So I changed my mind. I'm going to throw on some half lashes for the outer ends. These are Miss Adoro number 307. Today's modern bride might want to look a little bit more bronzier as opposed to the traditional bride. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I know you guys know that I'm digging bronzers lately, so I'm going to use my CoverGirl Queen collection bronzer. And I went for a larger powder brush. As, to, as opposed to this one that I normally use because this one is one I really want to be like contoured out. For this particular look, I'm going for something that's a little bit more natural. So that is going just along the hollows of my cheekbones and into my temples. For my cheeks, I'm using one of my favorite pink blushes. This is Dolce Vita by NARS. For more added shimmer, I'm going to use my I Am Glam by Mario Didovanovic, which looks like that. I just got it in another sample container. And this is going on the high points of my cheekbones. You can also use your e.l.f. body glow if you have that. Also adding a little bit of that right in my inner tear duct of my eyes, but not a ton, only a little. And one swipe down the bridge of the nose. Just one, only one. For my lips, I'm going to use a mauve pink. This is Modesty by MAC, which is a really, really pretty nude-ish pink. And there you go. There is our take on the modern bridal look. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.